Uh, it's a concrete roof, and uh, this is a simulation of the layers on the roof. Consider the fiberboard to be the concrete. Uh -huh. On top of that is a couple layers of asphalt, just like in any other roof, to keep the force of the water from, from, from getting into any cracks. It's concrete always has little cracks. If you, if, you, if you don't seal it from the water, the water will get in and it'll come out someplace else in your house and you'll never find where it's, where it's from. And so it's very important that it be sealed off. On top of that is insulation. Probably everybody here says, oh, gee, look, styrofoam. No, it isn't styrofoam. It's blue jeans. The stuff you're wearing and I'm wearing. Uh, processed in, I guess, some way. So it's an organic uh, uh, insulator. On top of that is a vinyl layer, just like in an a, a, a landfill to keep the liquids from getting down into the aquifers. Here to keep the much of the liquid from getting down onto the concrete. And on top of that, we have what we call an egg crate, but for no better term. It's made of some kind of PVC. And as the water uh, it soaks into the ground from the rain, it will get dissipated through this egg crate type of layer, which is like an underground lake or an aquifer. Um, on top of that is a, a, a layer of a filter layer of um, a felt type of material so that the dirt doesn't get down and fill it up. On top of that is six inches of dirt. This cork is not there. This cork is to simulate dirt and there actually is six inches. Okay, so you got dirt here. It's not going to last very long without a cover because it gets windy and it rain. It'll just wash away. So the building was opened in September tw on September 27th, 2008. Um, three years before that, the um, records